How are you TV lovers? Well, today we're gonna do a tutorial for the Samsung and not only Samsung uh, TV 4K TVs, all the TV brands that uh, have an option that will permit you to use only one remote control to control your TV and your receiver. Not only the TV must permit this function, I'm talking about the special function that must be uh, in the TV and in the, the receiver. So the special function is called HDMI ARC ARC and with only one remote control you can open up the TV and the same time the TV will give the command to the receiver to open up and you can control the volume that, and this is the main purpose of this video to control the uh, opening of the receiver and the volume to go through the receiver and through the, your speakers to avoid the built-in speakers from your TV because you know the built-in speakers are not good there are a lot of persons that do not know about this function so we're gonna teach you guys we're gonna go step by step and I'm gonna show you how to set up the arc function for the Samsung and I'm, I'm, I'm a Samsung fan I'm repeating this because I like this brand but with all kind of TV brands this function is for all TV brands that support HDMI ARC HDMI arc and if your receiver also supports it you can bound these two uh, electronics together and you can use only one remote control so guys let's dig in let's see how to do it this is my receiver guys it's a Sony DH 520 if you are seeing in the front it doesn't show that it supports any arc functions even on this logos or this information about the codex it doesn't show any arc sign only dts hd hd or something like this and the thing is it's a little bit old this receiver but it has it supports um, super cd or sa cd and it has in the back two rcas that uh, you can connect a high resolution player that it's good it's not that i don't think it's a high res receiver but with those two ports it shows that it permits some uh, extra functions and uh, this is what i'm telling you you can uh, view in the specifications your receiver if it supports the arc function the hdmi arc and if you open up your receiver the there is not much to do inside your receiver um, except you must uh, activate the arc function you can go and uh, see in uh, the menu by uh, this small display or on the TV when you connect the uh, HDMI and some of the receivers you have to activate the HDMI arc function inside some of them will go natural as you insert the cable for example I have here control HDMI on and uh, pass through you can pass through so after you activate those function you can go with your xbox your console or if you have a blu-ray player through your uh, receiver by passing your receiver and giving the image to your tv so you can play your games without turning on your receiver but i really don't see what is the point uh, of this but we are interested to give the sound through the HDMI arc and use the receiver not unuse it video in and the TV out is the arc function that port we are interested in the arc function in the TV out so connect your HDMI cables and be careful guys uh, I used before 1.4 HDMI and for those of you for those of you who have this receiver well uh, i had problems with the 1.4 hdmi cable so i used 2.0 the hdmi which comes with the xbox and then in the back of your tv you have another set of hdmi's depending of your brand so for example i have the hdmi function into the arc hdmi in free so now connect to your hdmi your receiver and pretty much this is the procedure of connecting the wires it's simple right okay let's move on but we have to do some settings go into the menu go into the settings tab go into the general 
it's on system manager i think no it's in external device manager so your tv brand must have i don't know uh, it's different some the tv says exactly hdmi arc but this tv says hdmi cac devices activate this function uhd color it doesn't have anything to do with this uh, uh, settings and now let's turn on the tv from only one remote control so let's click it and the tv give a command to the receiver and open up and now if i want to raise the volume you see there it sells us receiver hdmi you see here we have an avm if your receiver does not start for the first time you will see that it will make an icon to your tv here and click to this icon and it will open up uh, your receiver and then you can use automatically the turning on or turning off or controlling the volume your receiver so now when i want to control the receiver so now with the remote control of the tv of the samsung tv volume up or volume down and this is basically all the functions that you will need from the hdmi arc the hdmi arc another function that will work is the muting you can mute directly from the remote control and uh, guys if you are turning off your tv let's turn it off so the receiver goes into the standby automatically and it remains that way until you open up your tv from uh, the remote control or from the receiver's remote control but you will ditch this remote control it's not uh, you will not need it anymore because you will have everything from one single remote control for other function you can set up your equalizer for example if you want to do your receiver and then use your remote control the basic functions that you need is turning on and turning off automatically without using a lot of remote controls and uh, to control the volume of your receiver this is the utility the main utility of the arc function and this is the main person of our tutorial teaching you this now the main codex when you open up uh, for example you saw here it uh, goes through the Dolby Digital when you open up a video from YouTube or it will see exactly the codec that uh, TV provider uh, offers or if you are uh, viewing YouTube it will take automatically I think it's uh, Dolby Digital and you can also set up the codec from the sound you see here in the sound output is receiver hdmi into the expert settings i recommend you to put bitstream and uh, dolby digital it's a, a greater coded than pcm and also some uh, channels uh, will emit dolby digital 5.1 so it's great to watch uh, tv networks or if you're there uh, broadcasting a movie to watch it in 5.1 uh, channels guys you know we have to this 4k tv is the secret menu how to uh, back to access the back end of it and uh, see uh, how to connect your headphones well we got uh, tutorials you see in this TVs we have the speaker list here but uh, some of you folks you don't have uh, the Bluetooth uh, accessing menu so you can uh, put your headphones and listen at night if someone is sleeping for example you can uh, pair your headphones with, with your uh, TV so uh, you know in this new tvs have uh, this uh, function you can access the speaker list but if you don't have the speaker list into the menu into the sound settings like i'm having here watch those videos guys and uh, learn to activate and pair your headphones with your, your tv with just some clicks be careful with the secret menu guys because you don't have a default button remember what settings you made so this is pretty much for uh, this tutorial uh, i hope you like it guys if it helped you thumbs up for us and uh, subscribe that button put the notification bell guys thank you for watching have a great day see you bye